Shalom guys, listen to me now. <clears throat> Dear friend of mine uh, just sent me a um, a link, uh, brother there from uh, Belgium, and it's showing now that there are other media sources that are starting to pick up what we've been sharing with you. They're, they're showing now themselves Russian troop movement near the Ukraine border uh, in a massive scale. Some believe it's a build up uh, in response to what NATO is doing. Well, that's exactly what it is. It's not Russia wanting to do a preemptive strike. It's Russia knowing what's going on. Now, one of the things that we realize is that Putin has met with Erdogan. Erdogan was already working with NATO to launch a strike on Crimea. Now, after their private meeting, I'm sure now Putin knows what really is going on. And we're going to be sharing with you, thanks to some of you that have sent me some more footage from northern Crimea, where Russia has huge amounts of armaments going to the northern border. I think they know that NATO's about to launch a strike, but yet they're, they're working on a plan to make it look like Russia has instigated the attack. Guys, it's not good. It is a dangerous situation. And as soon as we can get back into the office there, I will get you updated on what's going on. Uh, my daughter is actually out right now learning to ride horses, so it's her little day there where we come to bring her out to get a little lesson to ride, so that's where I'm at right now, so I'm not able to be at the office, uh, but I will get back in just as soon as I can. Thank you for those of you that are also finding this information, and understand, for us, it's not fear-mongering. Where we figure if we can get this out to the public in a mass scale, if you could make it viral, not the video here, but the video where I show what's going on, make this thing go viral to where politicians then will be forced to put, a, put pressure on the Obama administration to not lead our country into a major world war. We don't need it, and neither does the people here in, in Europe, especially those Eastern Russians. And I've seen some people that act like that it's uh, actually the Russians that invaded Ukraine. Guys, that's totally false. There was a coup, had nothing to do with Russia, had everything to do with the CIA, and they overthrew the Ukrainian people's president. They put in their own neo-Nazi-backed uh, Petro Poroshenko, uh, you know, <laughs> backed government there, and they went on a genocide campaign. You need to go look. I mean, I realize there's propaganda on both sides. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here to, to make Putin look like a knight in shining armor, you know. But he's been very forthright. I will say that. He has been forthright in his own uh, things that he said. He's, he's let people know that his national interests are not being taken into consideration. And when you look at this, who's the one actually aggressive for taking lands? The U.S. is quick. The Obama administration is quick to blame Putin is, but... Uh, it seems like to me that it's the United States has taken over Iraq. It seems like it's to me that it's, uh, the United States has been working very diligently to take over Syria and now even Ukraine. Is there no end to the agenda that the Obama administration has in backing what Rome would like to see? A global dominance with a new world order for a new world power? A one world religion? Is anybody really waking up to what's going on? Do people forget that these poor Russian people, citizens, not soldiers, that the uh, neo-Nazis of uh, West Ukraine are making them eat glass? I mean, guys, this is serious. This is very serious. And unfortunately, the Obama administration and all their little thugs they have out working out here in other countries are here for a propaganda to make it look like Russia is the one out trying to conquer the world. I've not seen Russia try to conquer the world, not a single bit. And it's all a bunch of garbage. In fact, if anything, Putin reminds me of the earlier Tsars that when Russia was a quote-unquote Christian nation like we would call America today a Christian nation. Now truly, it was not an evangelical nation, it was not a messianic type of nation. I agree with that. The Tsars had all their issues too, but even back then, the, the Jews did not have near the problems until communism came along, and that was nothing but a Jesuit-backed order. I never even knew that until recently. And there's a German guy here that I'm hoping to interview very soon that writes in depth about the, the Jesuit back plan that toppled Russia from being at one time a quote-unquote Christian nation, which it is, you know, Russian Orthodox, okay, so I understand that, but they overthrew the nation. 
by using communism, bringing in Stalin and Lenin. And what were they there for? To stomp out anything that was coming in. So you couldn't have your Baptist organizations or Pentecostals. You could only have the Catholic religion. The Russian Orthodox was stomped out. But Roman Catholics, they still did okay. Ask my wife. She'll tell you for herself. She knows it for a fact. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.